Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand the difference between the nominal return and the real return. Before making investment in any asset class, we normally consider what is the rate of return we will get from that asset class. But we don't consider the factors like inflation or the tax rate or any other expenditure for that case. But are we right in doing this? The answer is no. Why? We will understand now. First, we will understand what is nominal return. Nominal return is the actual return which an investor will earn from an asset class before considering the inflation and tax rate. For example, if I am keeping an FD in a bank and getting an interest of 6% per annum, that 6% is my nominal return. And am I taking this 6% home after considering everything? The answer is no. Why? Because we have to consider a few factors. The first one is the inflation rate. So what is inflation rate? Inflation is the rise in general price level of goods or services over a period of time, normally a month or a year. For example, so what was the petrol price one year before? It was around 80 to 85 rupees. But what is the petrol price today is 100 rupees. So this 85 to 100, whatever increase is there, this is called inflation. Same way, what assume I have 100 rupees today, with this 100 rupees, whatever I'm able to buy today, I will not be able to buy the same product after one year with the same 100 rupees because the price would have gone up like for 105 rupees or 110 rupees. Yes. Next, we will understand what is the real rate of return. Real rate of return is whatever return I am earning from an asset class after considering the tax rate and inflation. We have understood what is inflation. We will assume in our example, the inflation rate as 5% and the tax rate, we will take the highest tax rate applicable to the individual that is 30%. Fine. So what is the return I am getting from my FD investment? 6%, which we call it as nominal return. Then after tax, what is the return I'm enjoying after tax? That is 4.2%. That is after paying tax, only 70% is left with me, which comes to 4.2%. Next, what is the real return after considering the inflation rate comes to minus 0.8%. That is negative returns. That means whatever investment I am making, it is not creating any value for me. Rather, it is decreasing my wealth. Clear? So before making any investment, please make sure that your return will beat the inflation rate in the economy. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. 